Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. In the last episode we went ahead and completed this uh, little counter here that can just count from 0 to 99 with our little digital display. Uh, we uplifted some of the logic and whatnot into uh, more reusable components. Uh, so if you missed it, check it out. I'll link a card in the top right here. But otherwise, we uh, kind of have a limitation here once we hit 99, right? We don't have a third uh, you know, digit to support the hundreds. And realistically, we kind of wanted to build a clock here. So uh, we can go ahead and update this uh, simple display to kind of support something that looks like a clock. So uh, behind me here, I've updated some of the layout file here that exists in the activity main. And we've kind of built out, you know, similar issue UI, but we've built out uh, room for hours and then seconds here. And it's basically going to be something that counts up. Uh, obviously, once it hits, you know, 59, it goes to zero and the hour kind of updates instead of just continuing on uh, to 60 there. So um, shouldn't be too complicated here to get this stuff fixed up because of what we built out so far. Uh, but until or before we jump into the activity here, I'm going to go to the view model and just uh, basically copy this implementation, uh, duplicate it a little bit because it's going to be uh, needed for the rest of our UI. So instead of the seconds, it's going to be the hours, I guess hours, no, hour. Uh, left and right digit display manager there. So if this doesn't make any sense, again, go ahead and just check out the last episode. It'll kind of make a lot more sense then. Um, and then inside here, we can uh, update our logic, right? So we basically have the right hand of the seconds with the math of index um, mod 10, the left being the index divided by 10, again, the integer division. And so that kind of just, you know, accounts for uh, well, we've surpassed 99, so this is broken, but that basically accounts for 0 through 9, and then this would go to 1 uh, on the left there. So we just need to uplift this logic a tiny bit to uh, support the hours, and that really shouldn't be that difficult. All right, so first things first here, we can um, define our hours is going to be the index, ma no, excuse me, index divided by 60. Yep, 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 yep. And then the seconds here is going to be the index uh, mod 60, right? So then instead of the using index here, we're going to just uplift that to be seconds. And then we can basically duplicate this to then also do the exact same thing here, whoops, for uh, hours as well, right? All right, and there we have it. So I think we've gone ahead and cleaned all this up. One thing we are going to do is just reduce this delay here to maybe, uh, let's do 250 so it kind of counts uh, pretty quickly here. And then uh, quite simply here, we're going to again just duplicate everything. Um, we're going to look for our hours left display. This is going to be the hour left, And then the hour right display is going to look at our our right binding and in all honesty that should probably be it um, so if we go ahead and just run it let's see what we get all right and our application coming to the foreground and we can see the clock kind of counting quite quickly this time around which is great uh, so we don't have to waste too much time here so let's just see once we surpass uh, 59 here if everything works and yeah as we can see it resets the uh, seconds counter at the bottom and then it kind of you know changes the hour accordingly uh, so if we you know were to eventually get over uh, to the hour being nine or ten o'clock um, then you know we could we could see the both the digits react but I'm going to assume that everything's going to work properly because we've uh, got everything to work at this point in time. So yeah, this would kind of be, you know, each one of these seconds going by would kind of be like the minute uh, going by in real time. And then this could be, you know, a 24 hour clock where it is 03, you know, 25, 30 uh, in the morning. So, you know, 3.30 a.m. Uh, kind of deal. So 
you know, I think this is a pretty good place to kind of stop this series here. We've really built out, you know, all the building blocks that we would need to modify this and change this around to basically come up with any UI that we want. Uh, but hopefully the stuff that's behind the scenes here, the way that we interact with our view model, uh, the live data accordingly, and then also specifically all of these different digit display managers to come up with the proper logic here uh, that's embedded inside of uh, you know this helper class just to make sure that you know what we're doing makes sense uh, for each digit which section or which segment should be uh, colored in and that kind of stuff so I think um, this is you know basically good enough for this series here uh, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far in the video in the series and you haven't already please do consider subscribing please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video It'd really help me out help the channel out and help everybody else out that would look for this material a uh, friendly reminder that all the code is available on GitHub, so you can go ahead and check it out, uh, you know, to your own local machine, and you can, you know, kind of tweak things and play with it and all that kind of stuff. So uh, reach out in the comments if there's any other questions, but otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the support, and I'll catch you in the next season here. Maybe we'll wait to see if we get to 10 o'clock and everything looks good just because we're so close already. If you're still here, thank you so much. And, yep, to me that looks pretty good. That looks like that's going to cover every case, other than the fact that it doesn't stop after 24 hours at the moment. But again, that's just a little bit more math. It's just a little bit more manipulation of the data. But everything under the hood here, uh, all of the actual display logic and whatnot is encapsulated quite nicely. So you can really change this into anything that you want. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.